Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. New data, new trends. I'll uh, tell you what I'm seeing here. First stop, Aspen Mountain. We're in what I'm calling the lull period right now for Colorado and Utah. Um, this is, you would get that west northwest flow, you get surges, and in between, you get the lulls. The next big surge of moisture and snow comes in tonight and runs through Sunday in Utah and Colorado, and we will pick up significant snow out of that surge. Let me take you into uh, Alta. Still some snow coming down, but again, this is that lull period. And I'll show you the uh, water vapor satellite imagery. I mean, the new moisture is literally on the doorstep, so it's coming. Here is a veil, and it is still snowing hard in veil. Veils, veils in for probably another 15 inches of snow. And it's blowing, and it's very cold in Colorado. In fact, let me show you the latest observations. Uh, so this is the 10-mile range in Summit County, central mountains of Colorado. So at Breckenridge Ski Area, there's a weather observation station on the top of Peak 8. I've been up to it. And, and these are the latest readings. Air temp, minus 2. Speed. Sustained wind, 46 miles per hour, gusting to 82. 82, I mean, just unbelievably cold, brutal conditions. And this will likely be the case in the central and northern mountains of Colorado tomorrow, Sunday, as well. All right, let me take you back, and let me show you that water vapor satellite imagery. So this is the latest. So the moisture aloft, the transport is in white and blue. And look at this. Boom. That's the next surge. It's riding this atmospheric river connection, this jet, and look what it's doing. It's bending down west-northwest. So the escort is right down into Utah and into Colorado. So what we do is with the west-northwest flow, we lift it, we condensate it, and we precipitate it. And that's what we're going to do with this next surge tonight and tomorrow. Here's the, uh, the forecast radar and satellite current state of affairs. You can see the next big blob in blue coming down. And then it just nails all the ranges. Tonight, tomorrow, Tetons, Wasatch, central to northern mountains of Colorado. And that's going to be the case all day Sunday. And in the Monday morning, lingering snow in the Tetons and in the central to northern mountains of Colorado. Then, by Monday afternoon, it all dries up. Next big storm hits the Pacific Northwest in B.C. with copious amounts of precip. Now, the one change to this, and I'm going to bring this up here in a second is by the time we get into 12, 6, 7, watch the next storm come in and affect the interior. By the time we get to 12, 8, it's affecting Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. So let me take you over to my bullet points. Here's my bullet points. So we've got the lull now. The next wave comes in tonight, 12 into 12, 3 for Utah and Colorado. That's when we get the bulk of the next accumulation. And it is going to be significant. Wyoming, you're going to have steady snow. may pick up a little bit tonight, and it runs through early 12-4. The northeast, you still have some snow in my forecast, although not as big as I was thinking earlier. But uh, coming in the afternoon of 12-3, running through 12-4. Now, back to that, that extended forecast. I showed you this. The next storm is on its way. That's 12-7. But believe it or not, by 12-8... Things now looking a little more progressive in the extended. So 12.8, 12.9, 12.10 will be the key period. The low is going to move a little bit faster and not dig quite as far south. So we're going to see an additional nice shot of snow. 12.8, 12.9, 12.10, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. Let me take you over to the jet forecast. The latest jet numbers look like this. Um, so there's our, our nice flow out of the west-northwest stack for 12.3. Now let me take you out to 12.7. Look at the flow. Comes down a little bit with the jet, very progressive west to east, bringing in the moisture, helping to move that storm system. So by the time we get to 12.8, we're already talking snow for the interior, Utah, Wyoming, and probably Colorado. Here's 12.9. By 12.9, the low's already spinning up in southeast Colorado and throwing snow back across the mountains of Colorado in northern New Mexico. So it's going to happen a little bit faster. And let me just take you into the snow forecast. The latest numbers as I see them. So the rest of today through 12.4, another 25 inches, roughly, two feet for a uh, little cottonwood up there, Alta Snowbird. Probably 20 on the way, 18 to 20 for big cottonwood and about a foot for Park City Deer Valley. In Colorado, uh, about another foot on the way for snow mass, more in Vail, probably 14 to 18 inches of additional in Vail. Steamboat, probably an additional 16. Breck, 14. You can see the numbers about a foot on top of the continental divide. And roughly another foot for the Tetons. And we're looking at um, about 5 to 8 there through uh, the heart of uh, Idaho. 
All right, now, second period, I divvied it up. So it's 12.5 to 12.7. Notice that storm system's moving in with really, it's really just, it's on its way to Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. But here's the impact from that. Here's the third period. So 12, uh, roughly 12.8. I should say 12.8 through 12.11. 12.8 through 12.11, that's when the snow falls in Wyoming, falls in Utah, and it falls in the central. Well, it falls in Colorado, we'll just say. And you can see some places are in for another 4 to 12 inches in Colorado, another roughly 5 to 8 in the Wasatch, and 5 to 8 for the Tetons, and pretty big snow for um, parts of Washington State and B.C. through that period, 12.8 through 12.11. Here's an update on the Northeast. 12.2 through 12.8. Most of this snow comes in um, basically late on the 3rd into the 4th. Not as big of numbers as I was showing earlier, but 4 to 8, 4 to 10, somewhere in there, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Um, snow Ridge, notice, notice Snow Ridge on the map. Moved it over to its, to its rightful location over there um, in basically uh, western New York State. So where you get that snow up on uh, coming off of Lake Ontario. The, a lot of you, you're going to get a lot of uh, lake effect systems down the road. So this will be an important map to kind of see what's coming. All right, guys, that's going to be the update here for the afternoon. Enjoy all that new snow out there. Again, a lot more yet to come tonight and tomorrow.